Alloyed concrete, alloyed bulk and Mack trucks go hand in hand. An association that goes way back in the history of the H.W. Richardson Group. With the late Bill Richardson's well-known liking for the Bulldog brand. Alloyed bulk driver Mike Hickey likes his American trucks as well. Running on a high productivity motor vehicle HPMV permit, Mike's 8 before Triumph is powered by the Mack MP8 12.8 litre 6 cylinder engine, which produces its 535 horsepower maximum at between 1450 and 1900 revs per minute, and its 1920 pound foot of torque from just 1000 revs per minute. HWR's GM, Specialist Transport, Dale Cocker, says the reason the group selects a particular brand are many and varied, but primarily it comes down to what is fit for purpose. The neat looking alloy bins are manufactured by Transport Engineering Southland, TES, along with a 5 axle trailer, which sits on SAF introduced axles and integrated air suspension. Our run today is out of the Alloy Concrete Silverdale plant, just north of Auckland. And it's up to Wellsford to the Wangapiro Quarry for a mixed road load of aggregates back to the batching plant. Travelling on through Walkworth and the Dome Valley, we turn east off the main road, heading towards the coast, but stopping long short at Warahini Contractors Millbrook Quarry at Wangapiro. Loading out at Millbrook Quarry, we're getting a truck load of PAP7 and a tray load of 10 mil aggregate. It's a quick load at this tidy quarry. I start the Trevor test with a truck and trailer unit loaded up close to its full 58 ton HPMV permitted weight. Inside the cab, the driving position is very comfortable, with good visibility out front, the sloping bonnet providing great forward vision for a conventional truck. It's a reasonably flat run from the quarry to State Highway 1, just north of Dome Valley, but it is windy and some corners signposted at 35 km an hour. So it's a good test for the pulling power of the 535 horsepower MP8 engine and the M-Drive AMT. One-way bridges are another obstacle along the way. The Trident handles it well, with good crisp gear changes as required. Dropping the speed down for slower corners and quickly picking up the gears and speed as we exit. The Trident is impressive considering its modest 535 horsepower engine. Even pulling 57 tonne, it certainly doesn't struggle. It comes in at a very respectable tear weight when fitted out with the TES body and 5 axle trailer, making for a great payload. Our experience with the MP8 engine holds true, very good fuel figures should be achievable.